everyone. Happy Wednesday. So today we're going to do a math lesson. Do you guys remember what we've been learning in math? You guys are right. We're learning about geometry. So I'm going to flip my screen over so you guys can see which one we're doing. So we're going to be doing lesson three 7.3 and 7.4. So before we move on, let's review. Who remembers what an open figure is? You guys are right. It's a figure that has an open side. What about a closed figure? You guys are so awesome. A closed figure is when all sides of the shape are closed. There's no opening. What's a plain figure? You guys are right. It's the same thing as a closed figure. Oh, hard one. What's a vertex? You're right. A vertex is the same thing as a corner. It's where two sides meet. I kind of already said what a corner was. A corner is where two sides actually meet. So what's a side? You guys are right. A side is a straight line on a shape or a figure. So now that we've reviewed, let's move on. So we are going to learn some more about corners. We're going to learn about square corners. So let's see. A square has square corners. All right. To know if a shape has a square corner, you can put a square in it like this, okay? Do you see how that square fits perfectly inside? Or you can draw a square. Whoops, I'm trying to draw it here, pen. If you can draw a square in the corner, see how I drew that? My square is a little funny, but if you can draw a square in the corner, that means it has a square corner. So how many square corners does a square have? Let's see. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. So a square has four corners and they're all, all four are square corners. Great, so now let's move on to the next one. What about a triangle do you, or a rectangle? Do you think a rectangle has square corners? You think so? Let's find out. Oh, I can fit one square in. Let's see if I can fit another one in. Two, three, whoops, four. I can. So a rectangle also has four corners and they are all square corners. Now let's look at this one. This is a trapezoid. Do you think a trapezoid has square corners? Let's see. If I try to put a square in, oh, does it make a square? It doesn't. Whoops, wrong one. Let's see if I try to draw one in. Okay, I'm gonna try to draw a square. Yikes, it's not letting me draw today. Let me try to draw in a square. Uh-oh. Nope. Definitely does not have square corners. See? Yeah, 
So it has corners, but the, none of them are square, are they? No. None of them are square. Oh, that one was a hard one. Now let's look at a circle. Does a circle have square corners? No, it has no corners. I can't put it anywhere. Okay. Last one. So I have two triangles here. I have an isosceles triangle and I have a right triangle. Okay. Let's look at this triangle first. And let's see if it has square corners. No, that one's not a square corner. That one's not a square corner. No, that one's not a square either. So this triangle does not have a square corner. What about this triangle? Let's see. Nope. That corner doesn't. This corner doesn't. <gasps> but this corner does. So, when a triangle, a shape, ha or when a shape has three sides and a square corner, you know it's a right triangle. That is so cool. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the next part of our lesson. Okay. We're done looking at square corners. So what is this shape right here? You guys are right. It is a trapezoid. Did you know that you can make shapes with smaller shapes let me show you so i have my trapezoid here and i'm going to use three small triangles to make this trapezoid Oh my gosh, isn't that so cool? See how I did that? Awesome. All right, and look, I can also use two trapezoids right here to make this shape. Do you guys know what this shape is? You guys are right, it's a hexagon. A hexagon has six corners and six sides. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, I'm going to have to move my hexagon out of the way so you guys can see it. Let's see. I'm going to lift my hexagon out. Look, I made a hexagon using two small trying or two small trapezoids. How cool. So cool. We're going to skip that one. Okay, so now we're going to move on to homework. You're going to do 100, 301 and 302. We're not going to do number five. You're also going to do 303 and 304, but you're not going to do number five. Okay, so this is what you have to do for page 301 and 302. You have to walk, look at the rule. Okay, so for example, question number one says one square corner and three sides. So you have to look at the shapes that follow that rule, okay? And it'll help you if you try to draw in the squares, okay? For the square corners, okay? So yep, you're gonna do that through one through four, and let's see, seven or six through eight, because we're not doing number five. And you're doing number nine, and you know you can do numbers ten and eleven. It says, um, draw the following rule: one figure with no square corners. So you can do that. And then the next rule is a figure with one or more 
square corners. See, those are super easy because we already went through those. Okay, and now I know for page 303 and 304, it's going to be a little difficult for you. All right, so my suggestion is, is you try to draw the shapes, okay? And then try to make bigger shapes with the smaller ones, all right? So you can draw diamonds and triangles and trapezoids and try to fit them into the shapes, okay? So good luck with both those pages. I, if you need any help, please contact me. I will definitely help you out, okay? I will see you all on Friday. And guess what? For Friday, we're going to do a science lesson. I'm so excited. All right. Bye, friends.